Tuesday cast the final ballot in U.S. midterm elections. The 435 seats in the U.S. House of Representatives were up for grabs, as were 35 U.S. Senate seats and 36 governorships. The Democratic Party held the majority in both the House and the Senate for the past two years. That has been helpful for President Joe Biden to pass the laws he wanted. While persons of Indian heritage have traditionally been Democrat-leaning, a large section has come out to support the Republicans in the recent days with former President Donald Trump particularly seeking handles. There are five prominent Indian American candidates in the U.S. midterm elections. PTR reports that there are four incumbents, Amy Vera, Raja Krishnamurthy, Bro Khanna, Pramila Jaipal, who are re-elected. All four are from the Democratic Party. The fifth candidate is Sri Thanadar, who is seeking his maiden entry into the House of Representatives from the heavily African-American portion of Detroit. According to political experts, all four are comfortably placed against your Republican opponents. In Maryland, Democrat Wes Moore has made history as the state's first black governor, according to a race called by the Associated Press. He is only the third black governor elected in the country. Moore's win puts the governorship back in Democrats' hands after two terms of Republican Governor Larry Hogan, one of the country's most popular governors. Reports added that Aruna Miller, an Indian American, has created history by winning midterm polls in the state of Maryland. The 58-year-old is a former member of the Maryland House of Delegates and was running as Lieutenant Governor of the state on the Democratic ticket. With history win in the U.S. midterm polls, Miller has become the first immigrant to hold LG office in Maryland. Here are the results from other keenly watched races. It looked like the biggest issues were going to be immigration, crime, and the cost of living, which were both winners for consecutive Republicans. That changed in June when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned national abortion protections, giving a boost to the Democrats who support women having the right to choose and have made that central to many campaigns. But as the immediate impact of that decision fades, Republicans are trying to turn the focus back to inflation, immigration, and violent crime. And now let's take a look at...